I should probably let you know that this video is not meant for kids. So if any of you are under the age of 13, then you probably shouldn't be here. Thank you for understanding. I told you this was going to be big. Here, I have in today's review, I'm going to be unboxing Sakuya. This is another one of Sakuya's forms from uh, the Shining series. And it is from uh, the game Shining Arc, which I have never played. I believe it's for PlayStation 2, and I need to go hunt it down during the con season. This is, uh, again, this is her Seraph mode. And says here licensed by Sega and this is a, a re-release which I got from Ami Ami and I had to pre-order it so I already have a, a Roaring Blaze Sakuya I already have a Cerulean Sakuya and now I have my possession Seraph Sakuya. Let me get this plastic off. Wow. Um. You know what? This box. This um box is actually really pretty. It's really beautiful. Fits the uh. uh fits the figure so well. Oh man. I'm blown away by this. <laughs> Now, how about we open it and get to the review? Wow, she's already impressive. I mean, look at this, seriously. You see this? Oh, and in case you're wondering, I am filming on, um, I'm filming this on my new iPhone, iPhone 11. Yeah, it was just an early Christmas gift. So I might as well just try it out. Anyway, this is Seraphim Sakuya, and wow, she looks really holy. They called her Bringer of Light, and the goddess of Bringer of Light, and there, I like this figure so far, and I, I like I like the wings, I like the the color and the uh, her long ponytail. And right here is, um, you can see the ribbon around her body parts. And it has good censorship, really good censorship. Now, I think um, what I should do is put on the wings and I think that's really gonna add, um, the effect we we want from from this one so let's add them all right i think i got her into the shot wow she looks even cooler she's so holy she needed she needed six wings i suppose uh 
she counts as a um shall we say uh christmas angel i mean i certainly think so okay let's and uh uh the fact that she's on a um on water like she's walking on water i mean she's a, she's a true goddess i mean the body dimensions uh the legs uh, the hips everything all the sen the censorship is there and she and wow, this is this has got to be the biggest statue I've ever reviewed. And oh my god, oh my god, this is this is just really, really powerful. This is really powerful. So, all right, let's zoom in. Yep, her her butt's there, um, but. It's barely covered. It's it's covered. I mean, it's barely covered up. I love it. I love this. I love her all the same. And you know, and I've kept this one in storage for a long time, and I'm glad I brought her out. I'm just really so glad I brought her out when I did. I wanted to wait till Christmas, and I thought Christmas would be the great would be a great time. And since it's Christmas Eve, I think I'm doing her justice. And I give this, I mean, on a scale of like one to ten, I give her, I give this one like eighty-five, like ninety-five out of ten. Ninety-five out of ten. Kotobukiya has outdone themselves. I'm glad I got this re-release when it when it dropped. So, oh wow, uh, that's the powerful wingspan, and I'm hoping I can f fit it inside of a figure case some somewhere. Um, so yeah, uh, this was, I mean, this, there you have it. It is uh, Seraphim Sakuya from Shining Ark. I've got to play that game. I've got to find it and play it. Um, so, um, like, comment, and subscribe. And this is my final review before Christmas. So, um, thank you for watching and... Despite this is a small channel, I really appreciate everything. Uh, I, I really appreciate all the likes and all the new subscribers I got. Uh, I didn't get to 100 like I wanted to. Um, maybe I'll do that before um, 2019 is done. And uh, thank you. Just um, thank you for watching. And I hope you all have a very, very Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm.